Is my grandpa secretly Commissioner Gordon? What burger of the day do I want to eat today? How does Ben Grimm have children? How is Hope going to get herself out of this one? Hmm. Let's have a conversation. Hello. Welcome to Conversations with me, the Goob. And uh, thanks for coming back. So I thought this week's conversation, we'd talk about something on the Disney level. And I also thought I might make a, a series of videos of random things within the Disney universe. Maybe each movie could have their own, their own week. Uh, let me know down in the comments if that's something that you want to see. I'm probably going to do it anyways. But <laughs> let me know if that's what you, you're, uh, you think is fun. This week is about The Little Mermaid. Specifically, what is her meat made out of? So my, my thought here, and I'm thinking, you look at her, she's half human, half fish. Literally, half a human, half a fish. Now, mermaids in other um, franchises like the Harry Potter universe, those mermaids are very merm people like they're very very you know fish like um and then you look at like mermaids in the uh aquaman universe because aquaman technically they're mermaids they're underwater people you know but they're very human like uh but what would ariel be ariel has a very fish like tail with scales and all and then a very human like body with fingernails and hair and everything uh, so if you were to slice her down the middle from head to tail and then you know look at the cross section would her upper body be very human meat and the tail be all fish meat because you know fish and human meat are very different but then that begs the question how does her blood circulate because fish blood and human blood is very different and our arteries and muscles are very different so is she all fish meat inside and you know, the human side is all fish or is it some weird hybrid? But then all of this begs the question, how were her and Eric able to procreate? And yes, if you haven't seen seen this, which it's been out since like 90s, I believe, 97 or something, um, they made A Little Mermaid 2, uh, Melody's Adventure or something like that. Her and Eric have a daughter named Melody who is a human and she, she's not allowed to go into the ocean. They built a giant wall on the beach blocking off the ocean. And so Ariel became her father, but it's the opposite. Um, so she has dreams of being in the water and uh, she meets a sea witch that gives her a tail and lets her go in the ocean. But if Ariel is fish meat inside of her, how could she procreate with a human and if she's a hybrid, it still wouldn't work because their circulatory system should be very vastly different. And did King Triton turn her 100% human? So that's the only way that could happen, but then their daughter shouldn't be able to get a tail then unless you're able to turn humans into mermaids. Uh, and then that also makes the question, how did she even breathe? Like where were her, she didn't have gills, she didn't have lungs because she lived deep down in the ocean and slept down in the ocean unlike whales that you know come up for air and then go under and then you know how was she able to breathe when she came out she didn't wish for lungs she wished for legs very very, very curious question but st still what kind of meat does ariel have uh send it, put it down in the comments what you think is it if it is a hybrid how was she able to procreate and have a child and why was that child not born like a quarter mermaid you know like one her both her legs are fins or one leg's a fin and one's a leg or something weird like that like you know she still should have had some mermaid dna in her right but anyways let's uh let's have a conversation about that and uh see you next week as always you don't need to have superpowers to be a hero